Castle Ducula, home for many centuries to a dreadful dynasty of vicious vampire ducks. The Counts of Ducula. Legend has it these foul beings can be destroyed by a stake through the heart or exposure to sunlight. This does not suffice, however, for they may be brought back to life by means of secret rite that can be performed once a century when the moon is in the eighth house of Aquarius. However, the latest reincarnation did not run according to plan, and when tomato sauce was ineptly substituted for blood during his resurrection ceremony... Hey guys, Shannon here with Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Before you forget, you might want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single History and Origins video. Spun off from the 1981 animated series Danger Mouse, shortly after Nickelodeon acquired the US broadcast rights, Count Dracula was actually put into production by accident. You see, after Nickelodeon acquired the broadcast rights, they approached Cosgrove Hall about co-producing a new series. After being shown a number of ideas, the then head of Nickelodeon, Geraldine Laybourne, spotted a picture of Count Dracula in Brian Cosgrove's office and said, that's the one I want. As the series went into production, one of the writers suggested he became a vegetarian, which added an even sillier concept to the series. Count Duckula the 17th is a short green duck with black parted hair and the traditional vampire evening wear. He speaks with an American accent despite being voiced by a British actor. He has no fangs and his favorite food as a vegetarian is broccoli sandwiches. He has occasionally been seen wearing pajamas with a Danger Mouse logo, a reference to the character's origin. The Ducula family motto is Per Adua Sanguina, which means work hard for blood. Ducula has a very modern outlook and often despairs over the traditional vampire image he is expected to embody. He hates living in a dark, gloomy castle and finds the behavior of his servants to be depressing. Ducula frequently expresses frustrations with Igor the Count's butler's attempts to change him back into a proper vampire as well as his lecturing Ducula as a disgrace and disappointment to the Ducula lineage. Although he retains some vampiric powers and qualities, such as teleportation and an image invisible to mirrors, he also possesses a lesser power, seen only once, which is the ability to create a lightning flash when angry. Unlike his past incarnations and other vampires, he is able to go outside in the daytime without suffering any ill effects. What are you waiting for? Subscribe! But this is likely due to his not being a traditional full vampire. In the episode Dr. Goosewing and Mr. Duck, Count Ducula briefly turns into a proper vampire, desiring blood from the villagers outside the castle, much to Igor's great delight, due to a serum slipped to him by Von Goosewing that he presumed would make Ducula harmless. But he turns away from the door when he discovers that the sun is still out and is returned to normal by night. The character differs considerably from his predecessor on the Danger Mouse series. In fact, the only similarities other than the name is they are both vampiric ducks with ambitions in show business with little actual talent. He's referred to as Count Ducula the 14th because each time a Count Ducula dies, either by stake, sunlight, or some other method, his loyal butler resurrects him via the use of a potion, albeit with little to no memory of his past life. However, during this incarnation's resurrection, Igor accidentally put ketchup into the potion rather than blood. This led to Count Ducula being reincarnated with no vampiric teeth and being a vegetarian. Marvel Comics, via their Star Comics imprint, produced a comic series based on Count Ducula and introduced an additional difference between the incarnation of Ducula, which separated him from his predecessors. Due to ketchup being used in the resurrection ceremony, this version of Ducula has ketchup rather than blood flowing through his veins. This was discovered when Ducula was given a blood test in order to get a passport into a fictional country, which produced a salad which Ducula was obsessed with getting to eat. The previous version was an evil villain willing to blackmail and force his way into stardom and was fixated on being a TV star rather than settle for fame in some other branch of entertainment. As stated, Igor is Count Ducula's loyal butler who greatly dislikes this version of the Count. He is a hunched, balding vulture with a deep, slow voice who has served for seven and a half centuries, indicating that Igor is himself either immortal or extremely long-lived through some unknown means. It's unknown if the seven and a half centuries constitutes the totality of the 17 Count Ducula dynasty, or if Igor has only served the most recent few incarnations. Subscribing is really easy. Just click and click. Nanny, 
who is an extremely large 7 foot tall clumsy hen with a very strong Bristolian accent and her right wing inexplicably always in a sling, possessing incredible strength and inevitably messing up whatever task she is set to do, is Duckula's nanny and housekeeper. She is supremely unintelligent, completely unreliable, but utterly devoted to her ducky boos as she calls Duckula and has a deep maternal affection for him, although her clumsiness often inadvertently causes him harm. Dr. Von Goosewing is a mad scientist and vampire hunter. He is created as a spoof of Abraham Von Helsing. Goosewing is a goose that speaks in a German accent and wears an outfit not unlike that of Sherlock Holmes. He pursues Count Duckula relentlessly, never able to comprehend that Duckula is actually completely harmless. He is a terrible scientist, often getting maimed by his own crackpot inventions, and is supremely unobservant, often bumbling into Duckula and conversing with him for several minutes without realizing to whom he's speaking. Gaston and Pierre are a pair of French criminals and occasional villains. Although they are both undeniably incompetent, the arrogant Gaston is ostensibly the brains of the outfit. Gaston is a tall, thin, black stork, while Pierre is a short, stubby parakeet. The characters were adapted into non-bird form for yet another Cosgrove Hall animated series, Victor and Hugo, which is spun off from both Count Duckula and Danger Mouse. Count Duckula was voiced by David Jason, Igor by Jack May, Nanny by Brian Truman, and Goosewing by Jimmy Hibbert. Currently, the series has only received official releases on VHS, with unofficial releases on DVD being sold through eBay. However, you can currently watch the series in its entirety on YouTube. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.